everyone and welcome to Homeschooling HQ and happy Star Wars Day! So we've got three Star Wars themed craft activities for you to do at home. Let's get going. Got your Star Wars scissors right. You're going to need some glue, some scissors and you need these uh, printouts. Just an R2-D2 shape and uh, the R2-D2 bit. I will leave a link for this description down below. Right, now all you're going to do is you've got your template, you've got your R2-D2 bit, you cut them up and then you can create your own R2-D2. Right, now the older children in here might want to get a picture of R2-D2 and set him up exactly as he would look like in the films. All right, get all the bits and pieces in the right place. But if you've got younger children, they might just want to cut these shapes up. Great for little uh, hands and motor skills. Cut these up. Stick them on as, as they want and they can make their own R2-D2. And obviously you could do lots of these, cut them up in different ways and make lots of, almost make basically a family of R2-D2s that I could have hours and hours of fun with this. And there's mine, all done. Hey! Now for the next Star Wars themed activity, we are going to make the Death Star. Well, we're going to make a bit of artwork around the Death Star. It might be handy to have a picture, or you can just try and remember from watching the films what it looks like. Uh, if you've got a paper plate, they're great to use. If not, I've just got an old pizza box that I've just drawn a circle on, which I'm going to cut out in a moment. Uh, some black or white and white paint or grey paint. And you're going to need, um, certainly need the wax crayon, because this is going to be what's known as resistant art. So we're going to use the wax and paint over it. And hopefully, if all goes well, the paint won't settle on the, on the wax and it'll look fantastic. Right, so I've cut one out, a bit of card out of a pizza box. I've got a paper plate as well, so I'll do two. Why not? Right, now I'm going to get a wax crayon. I'm going to have a little think about, I think I remember what the Death Star looks like. Definitely on these big satellite dish looks thing. And it's got one. In the middle, I'm going to put my lines on the outside. You won't be able to see it very well just yet. And then I'm going to try, I'm going to put a big uh, horizontal line across there. Like so, I'm going to put some more lines. Now I'm just going to do it almost like the brick effect. I'm sure you could go and study it more on the films or on pictures. I'm sure you can have lots of discussions, lots of Star Wars fans of how the Death Star was actually built. But for this video, I'm just going to kind of put a brick effect in. A few more lines. Happy like that. Now I'm going to use the back of the paper plate, okay, so it's not like the shiny and I'm used to the and then I'll do the same thing on here. Right, now I've already mixed my, my paint. Okay, as you can see, you can see a bit of this. Just got like a gray. And obviously I can make that a bit darker if I want. And all I'm gonna do, I've added a little bit of water to this already mixed paint. I'm just gonna wash it over to make my Death Star. Look at that, I'm made up with that. So there's my little Death Star resistant art piece. Right, now for our last bit of Star Wars themed artwork, we're gonna make Yoda. Now everyone's favorite at the moment is Baby Yoda, so let's make a little Baby Yoda. So all I've got, or what you're gonna need, uh, again, if you've got a paper plate, great, or some cardboard, green paint to paint that. Obviously, I've already done mine very quickly. Made a green face. But I've also got some green card, so you've got green card or green paper, that'll work brilliantly. I've made a shape on there, I'm just going to cut this out for Yoda's head. There we go, shape of Yoda's head. Now I'm going to need a black pen to either put his eyes on and his face on, but you know my favourite ones, googly eyes. So if you've got some googly eyes, get them in there as well, because that's Makes it more fun, although these are slightly different shapes. I'm going to take some more green card. I've just got some scraps left over. And I'm going to try and make his ears. I'm going to stick his ears on, like so. 
in my line already. I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to draw a face on him. Now with this one, I can just draw a little simple face, like his nose like this, and a simple face or a simple smile, like that. Okay, <laughs> I've got a funny little Yoda type face there. Now for my second Yoda face, I've painted my plate. Okay, I'm gonna put some eyes on. I'm just gonna use a bit of scrap white paper from the r 2 I did. I'm gonna cut some shapes up like that, very quickly. And I'm gonna put his eyes on these bits of white paper and stick those on. Do look good the eyes, but sometimes you don't look as wonderful as you should do. So I'm just gonna make some big wide eyes. Hey, so I've got his eyes in. I'm gonna put his nose in now. Okay, and a his smiley face. There we go. I haven't stuck his ears on yet, which I will very quickly do. And now I've got two funky looking. Ooh, stay on there. Oh, didn't stick his eyes in. Do or do not. There is no try. And there it is. Right, that's all for me and Yoda from uh, Homeschooling HQ. Don't forget to leave everything on our social media and we'll see you next time. And may the 4th be with you.